Hello all. Today we'll be looking at the installation of Sage or Ubuntu LTS 18.04. If you're looking at this video, you might already know the capabilities of Sage. In this video, we'll be installing the prerequisites for Sage followed by the full compilation and testing. So let's start. This is the website of the Sage Math project and we'll be following the installation using source code for this tutorial. First, we will install the prerequisites. For this, we will use the terminal. I'm using Biobu as terminal multiplexer. On the right hand side, I will use htop to see the system load. On the left hand side, I will do the installation. First, I update the APT package list, which is already to the newest. Then I install the first set of applications. The installation of prerequisites is finished. We now proceed to download the source code. For this, I use the server closest to me. and I use wget on the terminal to, to start the download. I have already downloaded the source code and placed it inside the sage directory. And I will use sage underscore installation directory for installation. First, we extract the tar.gunzip file. I move all the contents to the sage underscore installation directory and we proceed for the installation using the make command. For make command, I use a hyphen J with the number of cores I use for the compilation. And we start. This will take some time, approximately an hour, and depending on the system specifications.
All right, the build for Sage is finished. It took around 64 minutes. At this stage, we can test this build by issuing Sage command in the present directory. And it's working. I quit out of Sage using the quit command. Now we will install the PyOpenSSL plugin so that we can use uh, Jupyter Notebook or HTTPS protocol. At this moment, we cannot use Sage outside the present directory where we installed it. This is shown here. To use Sage across the file system, we will make a symbolic link to the Sage script in user local bin directory. Now we perform a test of the build. For this we use the make ptest long command. This runs the testing in parallel. This should take some time, maybe 15 to 20 minutes. Here we see that all the tests were successfully passed. Now we can start using Sage. Here I make a new folder 
for my class homework. I name it as class. Here I start using Sage with Jupyter Notebook. We quit the notebook using Control C in the terminal. We can give specific names to our Python notebooks. And this concludes this video. If you have questions, put down in the comment section. Commands for all the installation have been included on a GitHub repository, the link for which is included in the bottom. Thank you.